This is the third section of chapter five on straight line graphs, and this is about parallel and perpendicular lines. So there's only two bits of information we need to know. The first thing is that parallel lines have the same gradient. With perpendicular lines, if a line has a gradient M, then a line which is perpendicular to it has a gradient negative one over M. So for example, if this gradient is five, this gradient here would be negative a fifth. If this gradient here was two thirds, this gradient here would be negative three over two. Another way of stating this is that if M1 and M2 are the gradients of two lines, the product of their gradients is always equal to negative one when the lines are perpendicular. Example 10, a line is parallel to the line 6x plus 3y minus 2 equals 0, and it passes through the point 0, 3. Work out the equation of the line. So the first thing we need to do is to work out the gradient of this line 6x plus 3y minus 2 equals 0. And the easiest way to do that is going to be to rearrange it into the form y equals mx plus c. So I'll have 3y equals negative 6x plus 2 equals 0. Divide both sides by 3 and we get y equals negative 2x plus 2 thirds. So that tells us that the gradient of this line is negative 2. So we'll just write that down. So m equals negative 2. Um, and we want to find the equation of a line that has this gradient, it's parallel, and it passes through this point, 0, 3. So using y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, we'll have y minus, so our y1 is 3, equals m, negative 2, times by x minus x1, which is 0. Now, it doesn't say which form to leave it in, so we can leave it like that. I'm going to leave it in the form y equals mx plus c. So I'll have y equals negative 2x plus 3. So that's easy enough to leave it in that form. So you should now be able to do exercise 5e on page 97. Example 11. Work out whether these parallel lines are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So that means working out the gradients of the line. So we'll start with A. So the 3x minus y minus 2 equals 0. We'll rearrange that so that we have y equals 3x minus 2. So I can see that this line has a gradient of three. Then I'll look at the x plus three y minus six equals zero. So that will give me three y equals negative x plus six. Divide both sides by three and I've got x equals negative or y equals negative a third x plus two. So from here, I get a gradient of negative a third. Now, if I multiply these two together, I get negative one. Or if I do take this as m, this would be negative one over m. So let's call this m1 and m2. So this tells me that these two lines are parallel. So I'll just put down there since m1 uh, equals negative one over m2. The lines are perpendicular. Did I say parallel? I meant perpendicular. Right, let's have a look at the second bit here. So from the first one, no rearranging required. I can see that M is a half. From the second one, let's rearrange that. So I'd have Y equals 2X plus uh, sorry, 2x minus 4, 2x minus 4. Now I was right the first time, 
2x plus 4. So I can see from here that the gradient is equal to 2. Now, if this were negative 2 or this were negative a half, they would be perpendicular. Or if they're the same, they'd be parallel. So in fact, these lines are neither perpendicular or parallel. There's something else, but they're not even one of those. Perpendicular or parallel. So if we call this M1 and this M2, we could say that M1 does not equal negative 1 over M2. Example 12, a line is perpendicular to 2y minus x minus 8 equals 0. I'm passing through the point 5, negative 7. Find the equation of the line. So the first thing we want to do is to find the gradient of this line 2y minus x minus 8 equals 0. So I'll rearrange that into the form y equals mx plus c. So I have 2y equals x plus 8. We'll divide both sides by 2. So I'll have half x plus 4. So that tells me the gradient of this line m is a half. So we want the gradient of the perpendicular line. So a gradient of perpendicular that will be basically the negative reciprocal or the reverse sign reciprocal of this so reciprocal of a half is two so it will be negative two so I've got the gradient of this perpendicular line and I know a point that it passes through so now we will use y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So my y1 is going to be negative 7, my m is going to be negative 2, and my x1 is going to be 5. So we'll start by expanding the brackets. So you've got y plus 7 equals negative 2x plus 10. It doesn't say which form to leave it in, so I'll leave it as y equals mx plus c. So I'll have y equals negative 2x, take away 7 from both sides, and that will be y equals negative 2x plus 3. So you should now be able to do exercise 5f on pages 99 to 100.